Hi everyone and welcome back to Tanta Passione. I'm just filming from uh, court number two. There is a Lianni's voice uh, in the background. And I'm just trying to analyze with you what happened uh, during the two semifinals. I had the fortune uh, to, to enjoy this incredible uh, um, show where Matteo Berrettini was uh, basically making history for, uh, for Italy, being the first Italian to qualify for uh, the uh, final here as, at uh, SW19. An incredible uh, feeling, uh, an incredible moment. Uh, I think Matteo deserves uh, this uh, achievement. And um, I wish him all the best for, uh, for the final. I know it's gonna be very, very tough, but coincidence, on the 11th of July, Matteo, we play on uh, center court, uh, Italy, we play the final uh, against uh, England. But just, you know, let's try to analyze a little bit uh, his match. I think Matteo was uh, fantastic on serve today. Uh, I think he gave only one uh, break point to his uh, opponent. Um, the first set, you know, 6-3, two breaks. Uh, he was very, very solid, uh, very confident, uh, um, always believing in him, uh, himself, trying to go, you know, even upper and higher to give you a better view. Uh, I, was, I was impressed, you know, in the way he managed all the, the pressure the way he basically was um, always uh, trying to, to give his best. I just had to leave, you know, court number two. I think uh, for uh, security reasons, so I'm going to carry on uh, with my uh, analysis of uh, Matteo Berrettini's semi-final against uh, the Polish uh, Urkacz. So like I was saying, in the, in the first set, uh, Matteo was, um, was not even showing uh, um, too much stress. I have to say, I saw him earlier, one hour and 30 minutes uh, before his match, uh, practicing on court number 10. I also filmed him and, uh, and I said that the key today was, was going to be his serve, like Nicola Pietrangeli mentioned uh, earlier. Um, I think it was, uh, was impressive the, the way how he was focused, he was serving, uh, his average speed was 125 miles per hour, his fastest serve was 137 and um, he was definitely playing like a, someone who was so used to, uh, to enter you know, a semi-final in a Grand Slam, if we consider it was only the second time after the US Open in 2019, so Matteo improved so much in particular uh, uh, mentally, uh, like I said, I was, uh, I was very, very impressed from uh, his uh, performance. It's beautiful, uh, you know, the All England Club, in particular by the, the sunset, right now it's uh, 5 to 8 p.m. And um, in the second set, he was absolutely perfect. He won with a score of uh, six love, a bagel. Uh, he was, um, you know, trying to uh, keep very positive uh, all the time, looking his corner. I think Santo Padre did a fantastic uh, job with uh, with Matteo. And um, in the in the third set, once again, uh, Matteo was playing very very well. Uh, Urkac uh, saved basically a match point, uh, and uh, he pushed the set to to the tie break. All center court, of course, wanted to to see more, and so they were all behind the the Polish player. But we all know only because uh, uh, it's never enough. Uh, people want to enjoy the show as much as they can, uh, not because they were against uh, Matteo. And to be honest, as an Italian, I just thought, uh, okay, why not? Because I was uh, too sure, too confident that Matteo was going to to win this match. He, he played amazing, uh, he was uh, there with his, um, uh, with his mind uh, and uh, so all, uh, all the best to, to him. Uh, and in the, um, in the fourth set the, the score was 6-4, uh, but once, once again Matteo broke very early. Uh, the Urkacz and, uh, and after I was super super impressed by, by his serve. He was winning so many uh, games to love, um, he was um, always doing the right thing, he improved so much with his uh, back end uh, and as well by, by the net, so 
probably berrettini is the the evidence the proof that if you work hard uh, you can uh, achieve uh, uh, these uh, incredible uh, results and also he was quite uh, speechless uh, even uh, at the end um, during his uh, on-court interview and um, his parents were there in his um, in, uh, in one corner you know center court they were quite emotional and uh, I you know the only thing that I can say Matteo try to enjoy on Sunday it's going to be an incredible uh, experience that probably you're going to, to tell uh, your uh, your children and your uh, grandchildren in the future I know that uh, it's going to be probably mission impossible but who knows a sport is uh, is beautiful for uh, you know for this reason because on the other side of the net on uh, Sunday is going to play against the world number one the player is probably um, rewriting the history of this, uh, this uh, sport, the, the player who probably is the most uh, complete, or, or the lead probably, is the most complete for sure, uh, the one who is uh, going to um, achieve uh, probably um, all the records um, and uh, he's uh, trying, you know, to, to do something, something incredible. First of all, uh, to match uh, Roger and Rafa with the 20 Grand Slam, also to win his third consecutive uh, slam uh, uh, for the year, for this calendar year, and try, you know, to make it like the golden slam, because we all know that Nova Djokovic will uh, participate uh, at the Tokyo um, Olympics uh, this year in, uh, in Japan. Just, you know, going back to the match, uh, as well, uh, Novak was very sympathetic and uh, uh, supportive towards uh, uh, Shapovalov. Uh, the match uh, was won uh, in two hours and 44 minutes uh, uh, in uh, three straight sets, but as well Novak said, you know, the, um, the scoreline probably doesn't tell the truth, is um, is not representing what was the um, the performance provided by, by Shapovalo, because I have to say today the, the Canadian, uh, Dennis, uh, like people were singing on center court, uh, Dennis is good tennis, uh, um, he, he, he was really on fire, he was making a lot, a lot of uh, uh, winners, he was the first basically to break uh, Novak uh, in, the, um, in the third game of the opening set and he went, you know, um, on 5-4 uh, to, to serve, you know, for, uh, for finishing the, the first set, but at that point uh, <laughs> Novak uh, there are a lot of reasons why Novak is uh, uh, so strong, uh, why Novak uh, mentally is, uh, is unbelievable because he played an, an amazing uh, game, uh, probably, you know, showing a, a wall in front of uh, Shapovalov. So Shapovalov, I think, was broken to, to love in that game and uh, the set was pushed to the tie-break and once again uh, um, Shapovalov won the first point of the tie-break with an incredible uh, uh, shot but after uh, Novak was um, absolutely in, uh, in control of, the, of that tie-break that he won with the score of 7-3. Uh, um, in the second set again, uh, Shapovalov had, I, I would say, probably seven or eight break points uh, all in the early games, uh, uh, a lot of uh, love 40 when uh, Novak was uh, was serving, but because you know tennis is the sport of the devil, like I I keep saying, um, was Novak in the 11th game to to break basically the, the Canadian, uh, and after he went on serve and he was leading uh, the the score with the two sets to love. Um, the the third set probably Novak was uh, serving. Uh, even uh, better. Novak was basically winning a lot of games easily to, to love. Uh, in that case, was Shapovalov who was uh, fighting uh, much more uh, during his uh, serving games. Uh, he started to save uh, uh, a lot of uh, break points, uh, but like a deja vu in the uh, 11 game, uh, he was broken. Uh, was probably one of the first times during the match that I saw Novak completely um, shouting and trying, you know, to, to involve the crowd that, of course, was behind the more uh, uh, Shapovalov, a bit, only because probably uh, it's quite known that on center court they always support the underdog and they want, you know, matches uh, to, to carry on longer and longer. Uh, but Novak, uh, you know, won and uh, once again he was the major uh, favorite at the beginning of this uh, tournament. 
To be honest, I don't know what's going to happen on uh, on Sunday. Like I said, uh, I think probably Matteo needs just to enjoy the the moment, uh, try to um, take the best of it, and eventually try basically to uh, win at least the one set against uh, Nova Djokovic because. Like I said, either on the other side of the net, there are probably two players against the Novak. But right now, I can't see how he's going to lose this uh, final. He's um, physically, mentally uh, over the top. Um, probably, I think, also on uh, Sunday, uh, according to the weather forecast, he's expecting some rain, so they might play with, uh, with the roof closed. Uh, but what can I say? I'm very, very proud of uh, Matteo. Mm, he, he did something uh, incredible, the first Italian uh, to, to reach uh, the final at SW19. The only problem that on the other uh, side of the net is going to, to play against uh, someone that probably is not almost, uh, is not even human, he comes from a different planet and uh, right now I think he's uh, almost uh, unbeatable. Let's see, I hope you enjoy, I'm going to release as well uh, the kind of um, video of the best of uh, this day. Uh, it's always a pleasure to, to come to Wimbledon. Uh, it's a fantastic experience. Uh, I, I wish all of you, if you haven't done it in, uh, in the past, to, to try. Um, and uh, the atmosphere that, that you breathe, that you live in this uh, wonderful uh, place is, um, like Novak said, probably is the, uh, is the most uh, sacred uh, tournament uh, in the world. That's all for today. Enjoy your weekend. Uh, it's going to be a very important uh, Italian Sunday here in London. Like uh, they usually say in, uh, in English, uh, we might go from a hero to zero. It can be, you know, all or nothing, uh, but for sure it's going to be a Sunday and day to remember, 11th of July 2021. That's all for today. Subscribe to my channel, leave your comments, uh, and uh, remember, tennis is a wonderful sport. Ciao.